okay, and under the age of 65, can actually earn 6,475 pounds. 6,475, yeah. okay. Before, Four, before we pay any income tax whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And that is available, you'll be pleased to know, to even uh, uh, to a child, maybe a child who's born today, happens to... Inherit or have some... Well, uh, maybe in, in, in advert yeah. for some products or services, earns a fee, uh -huh. mm -hmm. the fees is 10,000 pounds. Technically, that child is liable to tax, income tax. Mm. But he or she can actually have the, we call it the personal allowance, mm. 6,475 tax-free mm. before yes, the taxes so. are paid. And then there's a percentages of tax you yes, have to pay, yes. not the whole No, amount. no, no. And um, the basic rate tax uh, is 20 percent. Okay. And that is payable on the first 37,400 of your taxable income. So really, people complain about the taxes are very high. My view is, well, if you're paying 20 percent, you get 80 percent in your pocket as well. Yes. You know, look at it in a positive way. Yes. So if you earn 100 pounds, you have to pay 20 pounds. Well, you still got 80 pounds in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So we should look at it uh, in a positive way that, look, if we, if we earn, we have to pay something, but we are able to return more. There are European companies where you mm. have to pay 30, 40 percent tax. Well, no, even yeah. here, income yeah. tax, you know, yeah. I mentioned about 37,000. Well, that's the limit for the 20. Yeah. That's a 20 percent limit. You start to earn more than that, and anything above that currently, you'll be taxed at 40 percent. Yes. Next year, if you start to earn more than 150,000, you'll be paying over 50 percent. And that's personal tax again. That's personal tax. But then there's business tax as well. Yes. If you are uh, an employer mm. and if you have your own business, then that tax changes. Yes, there are. I mean, what we are talking about is the basic personal. income tax, yes. which uh, individuals would mm. be paying. Uh, with the income tax, there are other taxes to be paid. Yes. I mean, there's national insurance. Yes. Some people would say, well, even VAT is a tax, which is, is fair enough. But yeah, but at the, you know, the, your first question is what, what, is, what are the taxes going to be used for? Mm. Well, we've explained yes. where the taxes are going to be used for, but there are ways and means of collecting taxes. And as far as individuals are concerned, the first tax, which all of us will be paying if we start to earn more than 6,475, will be income tax. Yes. But I started by saying, well, we're going to talk about tax planning. Yes. Now, what one of the things that you could do, and we all could do, is, you know, uh, I mean, I have sometimes have my wife coming into my office yes. and doing bookkeeping and reception work. And really, I have to pay her. And if I pay her, her, her salary, her wages, now currently there's a minimum wage, £5.80. 5 pounds 80 right. £5.80. You have to pay more than that. You should be able to justify her, her wages f to the revenue. But supposing I pay her £100 a week, well, that's £5,200 to her. And it's tax-free. And it her. is really tax-free. Yes. And as far as my business is concerned, yes. that 5200 is a legitimate business expense. Yes. You know? So I will be paying less tax on my profits because my profits will be less by 5200 now, what you have to do is plenty of children mm -hmm. and employ them all yeah. and save 5,800 per person <laughs> <laughs> and you will pay no tax yeah. in that. I, I knew we would be coming there. You know, uh, what my, my concern was, I, he was going to say, I'm a very good Muslim, so I'll have four wives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> four wives and lots of children then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, <laughs> Sammy's not married, so come on, Sammy, yeah, ask a question. Yeah. I've got, so you have I've to got get loads of questions. So you, you have to get married so that you can pay your wife <laughs> and pay less tax. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. I've actually got lots of questions yes. to do with tax. Okay. Um, the first one, you mentioned some keywords. You said something about tax avoidance and, and tax eviction. Evasion. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now, I just want to explain to the, the audience basically mm. that, because some people might be watching and saying, what's all that? Mm. Eviction, avoidance, and you said something about avoidance is legal. Yes. Uh, and you can make yeah. it legal through yeah. tax planning yeah, and uh, using your children and your wife yes, for good if, if reasons, obviously. That's you know. That's right, yeah. yeah. No, if, if what I mentioned to Tamkin was that, you know, if you have somebody working for you, and a lot mm -hmm. of us have got small businesses, mm -hmm. you know, you might have your wife working uh, in the kitchen in the restaurant with you, mm -hmm. or she's the cashier there. And mm -hmm. just because she happens to be a wife, people, or a husband for that matter, yes. you know, you say, well, that's okay, you don't have to pay for her. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is, 
if you pay her uh, the economic rate for the work she's doing, mm. that will be treated as a business expense. Yes. Right. Now, she or he is entitled to the tax-free allowance of 6475 mm -hmm. uh, That means if you pay her up to that figure, there will be no tax for him or her to pay because that is her personal allowance. Right. As far as you are concerned, that will be treated as a business expense. So you are right. saving tax. And this is part of the tax planning. Mm. Right. Yeah, it is legal, nothing illegal about it. So would you, would you recommend people then to employ a lot of part-time workers instead of full-time workers? It's that way they can sort of legally get away with... Not get away, but help them as well not yeah. to pay tax mm. because they're for working part-time 15 hours a week mm. or something. Mm. So they're at the threshold. Yes, because yes. Th there is no restriction there. Mm. People, if they are self-employed or if they are part-time workers, they will have paid their economic rate. Yes. If it happens to take them above the threshold mm. for tax, then there will be taxes which they will pay. And we should not really shy away. My mm. personal view is we should not shy away from paying taxes, you know. As I mentioned, mm. even if you have to pay 20% tax, well, you've got 80% for yourself. And yeah. don't forget, yeah. that's not on the whole amount. That's after the yes. 6,000. Mm. So you're not paying. That is free. Mm. And then after every pound you earn after that, you will only yes. pay right. 20p mm. and keep mm. 80. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not mm. saying that we shouldn't pay tax. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I, I, you no, know, should, it, pay, it should yeah. actually lead to, uh, to my second question, really, yeah. is, you know, you've, you've been taxed from left, right, and center. Mm. You know, like, okay, you've talked about income tax. Yes, yes, and you yes. said as long as you've got a personal allowance of 6000 plus, yeah. you know, you're not paying any tax at all. Mm. But then a company or a business owner, mm. like myself, mm. well, we've got to pay corporate tax as well. Yes. And then you're talking about VAT and people are saying, right, okay, there's all That's why you taxes. need to plan and have mm. someone like Tyre mm. Bay <laughs> at the beginning to help you plan ahead mm. on how you can reduce your tax bill. Yes. And this is why Tyre So you've saved today. the 20%, now well, the company's th going to get hit by another tax. No, no, no the, the, the thing is, for example, th what you are saying is, how can you minimize your corporation tax bill? Mm. Well, there are a number of benefits which are available from within the company. Let's take one example. Mm. You could have a uh, director's pension scheme. Mm. Right. Yeah? You take the, the company actually pays money into, a, into your pension scheme, which you will benefit from when you attain the, mm. the relevant age. I think it's 55 mm. on that. So that's, again, money which effectively you are having, not directly in your pocket mm. straight away, but over a period of time, the answer is yes. There are other benefits which you can get from the company, which is tax-free. For example, one comes to mind straight away is a mobile phone, exactly. company mobile phone. There's no tax to be paid on that. Mm. You know? So there are other loopholes available. Uh, if there are expenses which you are incurring for the purposes of the business, you can claim for all those expenses. Maybe it's a uniform mm. that you need. The, uh, if there's a laptop which you need to use in your business, you can claim for that as an expense. Also, mm. I hear periodicals and books and yes, things, yes. Uh, mm. you know, to keep you updated. Yes. And education and courses, you yes. can claim that as well. Yes, yes. Anything that is to do with your employment, mm -hmm. right, which you, the, the legislation says wholly, exclusively, and necessarily for the purpose of your business. Right. Yeah. Now, it, it's very technical term. Mm. It doesn't mean that, you know, you feel that you are very tired, you now like to take a holiday, you know, mm. and I think this is good for my business. Mm. I'll go take two weeks holiday and uh, all the holiday. That, that's, not, that's not on. Yeah. But, you know, if you need to have, uh, go on a course, mm. as Damkin mentioned, mm -hmm. it may be the course is abroad. It's a specialist course. You have to go there, you have to go by air. Maybe you can upgrade yourself. Yes. Instead of going economy, you go first class. Mm. Yes. Uh, you go and stay in a good hotel. Uh, you attend the course, you come back, all those, if you can justify those are business expenses, you can write them off against you that. So, you know, you have to do look at the whole thing like a package. Mm -hmm. And I must warn everybody, people who are watching, that yes. things that might be, you could claim for the, uh, yourself, I might not be able to claim for them because of the nature of my business. Right. You know? right. I take the example, say, if you are a mobile hairdresser. Yes. You move from one place to another to another. You probably have a car. You'll be claiming for the fuel, mm. you know, the expenses relating to the car. And a lot of your business will be, uh, you know, by car. Yes. So you might be able to claim a very large proportion of those expenses. 
-hmm. If in my particular case, lot of my business, I have an office. Mm -hmm. Most of my 